Welcome to the Daily Writer Podcast, where we bring you tips and inspiration each day to help you build habits for writing success. For more resources, including your free Daily Writer Starter Kit, visit dailywriterlife.com. This week, we're celebrating the release of the brand new book, The Faith of Elvis, which I co-wrote with Billy Stanley, Elvis Presley's stepbrother. So here on the podcast this week, I'm sharing a few lessons that I've learned from working on this project. If you read the book, which I of course, hope that you do, you'll quickly see that Elvis embraced his role as a big brother. Elvis was in his mid-twenties when Billy and his two younger brothers moved to Graceland with their mom, who was getting married to Vernon, Elvis's father. At this time in his career in 1960, Elvis was already a massive superstar. And as we talk about in the book, he took time to mentor and guide Billy and his brothers. He didn't let his role as a big-time celebrity get in the way of spending lots of time with his brothers and taking it upon himself to teach them about life, relationships, faith, cars, and a lot of other important areas. What a powerful lesson for all of us. Here's why. It probably feels like you're busy all the time. You're writing, you're posting on social media, you're networking with people, you're doing all kinds of things related to your writing. Not to mention your family life, your hobbies, and trying to squeeze some sleep and exercise in there in those spare moments. But what about mentoring and helping others? No matter how big or small your platform is, no matter how famous you get, you've got to make time to speak into the lives of other people. Now, you can't help everyone, but you can help a few people on a personal basis. So I encourage you to go out of your way to give personal attention to at least one or two people who would really benefit from your help and encouragement. You've probably benefited from others mentoring you, so I think it just kind of stands to reason that all of us should take the time to do that for other people as well. And even if you didn't have that, even if for some odd reason you haven't had people who've mentored you and kind of helped you in some different ways through life, that's all the more reason to give other people what you never had. Here's today's question. Who are one or two people in your life who you can mentor, encourage, and help in their writing? Well, the new book, The Faith of Elvis, just released and is now available at your local bookstore or your favorite online retailer. I hope that you pick it up and I'd love to know what you think about it. You can shoot me an email at kent at dailywriterlife.com. Before we wrap up this episode, I want to start a new tradition here on our Saturday podcasts. I want to start something that I'm calling a Saturday shout out. I think it's important for us to recognize people who are in the beginning stages of their journey, either as a, a podcaster who has a writing focused podcast or people who are new in their author journey, specifically people who are first-time authors. Getting that first book out into the world is a really, really big deal. It's much easier to do books after you've done that first one, but doing that first one, that's a giant thats a giant deal, and it's really, really important. So I want to make sure that we're acknowledging people who are doing the work to get that first book out or who have launched a writing-focused podcast uh, sometime in the recent past. So for our very first Saturday shout out, I want to give props to my friend, Beth Ann Ramos, who is the author of the kids book, I'm Getting New Glasses. Beth and I are both part of the Empire Builders Mastermind led by my writing and business coach, Honoré Corder. You've probably heard me talk about her before here on the podcast, and uh, I've interviewed her a few times. Honoré is awesome, and the Empire Builders Mastermind has truly been a life and business changing experience. Anyway, one of the things that Beth did as a result of being in this mastermind was to write her first book. And this is a kid's book that she is now distributing and making available to optometrists. And she is having lots and lots of success with it. It's not only a really fun book, she also is very smart and strategic in how she's approaching this. Now, there's a link to the book on Amazon in the show notes, but let me share with you the book description. Olive just found out she needs her first pair of glasses. She knows she'll see better, but she's also nervous and uncertain. With help from her little brother, Andy, Olive starts trying on new eyeglass frames to see which pair is just right for her. Eventually, Olive discovers that picking out new eyeglasses can be fun, and there's a pair out there that's just as unique and special as she is. I love that book description. This is a really fun book, and I encourage you to check it out. Even if you don't really have kids in your life, um, maybe your kids are grown. Maybe, uh, Maybe you don't have kids. Maybe you're single doesn't make any difference. I encourage you to get this book. It's so much fun. And Beth did the illustrations herself, which is even way more impressive than uh, getting the book out there, which alone is really, really impressive. So 
I always want to make sure and support people who are in the beginning steps of their journey as podcasters and authors. So make sure and go to Amazon and check out the book. There is a link in the show notes. So congrats, Beth. Uh, You did something really, really awesome, and I'm so proud of you. All right, my friends, thanks for listening to this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.